Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Marion. If you guys are new here, welcome to again my channel. Um so today we are going to be talking about the long awaited moment of silence LSAT score, August 2021. Um scores got released today this morning at 8 a.m. Eastern time. And so I was going to film it, but I kind of like opened my laptop really quick and it was like pitch black so obviously you guys are not seeing my raw reaction but I will tell you my raw reaction to my score, my feelings, what's going on next thing forward and all that and yeah I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys about everything that I thought about this test and just all that jazz so I know you guys have been really liking my LSAT videos and all prep videos so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um i do want to be the most honest with you guys because obviously no one's perfect and people are gonna have mistakes and good days and all that stuff so i want to be honest with you guys about everything and my whole journey to law school so that's that's it so yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me if you guys want to see and here, what, how I did on the LSAT of August 2021. Keep on watching. Okay. I think first I want to make coffee. I'm going to do that really quick. Okay. I made some cold brew because we're going to need really strong coffee. I'm sorry if the lighting's like orange or like dark. I'm using the window lighting because I didn't bring anything with my ring light. So I apologize about that. Um, yeah. So coffee let's get to the score so today at 8 a.m logged on to the LSAP if you guys don't know or you guys um are kind of like getting familiar with the LSAP and stuff pretty much everything to submit your application you need to go through the LSAC website and you need to submit it through applications um letters of rec your score will be there um what else Pretty much everything that you're going to get submitted into law school, you refer to LSAP, the LSAC website. And so that's where I logged on to this morning and scrolled down slowly but surely because I did not want it. I just, I kind of went into the mind, which is kind of bad, but like I knew I was going to have to retake it and stuff. And um, I was trying to be positive. I know I'm kind of like playing two side here but I guess maybe we just always try to go in the positive mind and I try to say like oh maybe I did actually better but also I was very nervous um, and so I scrolled down and I saw my score. Moment of truth. I ended up getting a 140 on my LSAT and I am not super proud of it. I'm quite disappointed because I get 120 is like a passing score, but it's not the score I want. I know you have to reach a certain percentile to actually get accepted. And yeah, so that's my score. I was hesitant to sharing with you guys, but I know that I want to be helpful as much as I can with you guys because I know law school apps, I'm still stressed about everything for law school. I know I'm not alone. There's so many of you out there, so I want you guys to be on this journey with me about it. But I'm just like more frustrated because you guys saw, I know I did some videos, but pretty much my whole summer, I was busy with prep courses and just studying, studying, studying. And just to see, like, to get the score is just kind of like very frustrating. Um, I was kind of surprised though that I did score 140 because my last diagnostic test before I took the test I got a 132 so I was like oh my god like I dropped so I'm happy I saw I went up and I know if I could master some part of logic games which is my strength maybe I could score it up to 150 and if I could improve in reading comp because I definitely know that was like one of my struggles maybe I could push up to 160 so I have a lot to think about but I wanted to tell you guys that in my score. So what's, maybe you're asking me what am I do now? What's going to the plan look like? Um, I had to think this a lot through. I honestly kind of just like 
upset all morning um, and I really just didn't want to do anything but I know how to get some work done and I know I was gonna actually put another video out today but I know this is the type of video I was like this is what you know I've been wanting my channel to be like and I wanted to show you guys that so here's I get it out today and I thought about it and I am definitely am taking a November test for LSAT and I just need to test study like twice as hard that's just how it is and I just kind of like see it as like at the end of the day like I will eventually be able to get in and I'll eventually get the score hopefully that I want or at least a passing not a passing score but like an acceptance score um, and it kind of will be all worth it at the end after all this stress that I'm feeling and it goes for people for the bar like I know some people just found out their bar exam today also and it goes that, uh, you know, luckily with the LSAT, you take it multiple times in a year. The bar exam, you only have twice, so that one I definitely will have to study a lot too. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty much just I need to get in that mindset. Like, I can do this, and I will do this, even if I have to do it again. Kind of like, you fall and you get back up. And this is my fall that I didn't do what I want in this LSAT exam. And luckily I had the score preview, so I canceled my score because, again, I wasn't super proud of it, and I know I could just do it again. Um, so I canceled my score, and I know now that I just need to study like twice as hard. So with that being said, I'm going to take November 14th LSA. I think falls on the 14th, but like the second week of November. Um, I did create a study plan. I was going to use my prep class like homework that I did but expired so that was unfortunate but I know that I need to focus on mastering logic games and then improving on my reading comp. Logic reasoning it's like a hit or miss like I could do really good or I could do okay but it's not logic reasoning is not something that I'm like oh like I need to work on that it's reading comp that I do and then logic games I feel the most confident like that one I could go in the breeze so with that being said, that's my study plan, and I'm starting up with school soon, so I need to incorporate it and kind of make this semester, like, I need to focus, and this is, like, my determination of getting in. Um, so I planned on actually applying to law school in October. I know applications came out already, but I planned on submitting, I did plan on submitting my applications at the end of October. But now, with that being said, since I won't be able to take my exam until November, sorry, it's on my emails. It's like also so sad. Like I get more upset because I get emails from law schools. It's just like I can't even apply yet because I need to retake the exam. But that being said, I'm gonna open my applications in October, fill them out, get everything ready. I'm gonna start my personal statement hopefully today, and wait on my score and I'll let them know like hey I'm just waiting on my score and me taking it in November and just go from there I might have to wait till passing my November maybe even prior to December I don't want to apply to wait because I don't want to be in the last cycle but I know a lot of schools I'm looking at the regular decision deadline is like in March or like even in May which I was so surprised about but I going to start just trying to get all my applications ready even if I don't have my exam because then I'll feel once I get it done I'll just feel like less kind of nervous and stuff about like oh what if I don't get in because as long as I have all my stuff and even if I just say hey I'm waiting for my test score for November or like I'm about to take the LSAT in two weeks and stuff so yeah so that is the plan for law school applications um now I'm going to talk about what's planned for LSAT prep and kind of what I'm going to do with like sharing with you guys. So I know I talked about it a little bit earlier and I'm going to just take a lot of the practice exams and just focus on reading comp and then logic games and stuff but more of instead of like doing the lessons I'm going to take exams just over and over again and then see where I'm going wrong and then do lessons like with the videos and all that stuff because I know I have sources and I have books do so um i will try i might do it for youtube like once a week like how i'm doing an exam what i've been doing 
if you guys have any preference like video ideas you guys want me to do about that let me know um because i'm definitely down to do that i am gonna get a little bit busier so i'm gonna try to like pre-film a lot of videos but if you guys have any like ideas for me that you guys want to see because now i'm gonna extend that journey for the lsat and i mean we're gonna go through this whole roller coaster again and i want to share that with you guys and then hopefully in november when i do another video like this it's better because then I don't know what else I'm going to do, but hopefully it's better and I had to keep that in the mindset of it's going to be good and I'm going to be able to go into the schools that I want. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I wanted to, I was so hesitant of doing this video, but I know like I said, I was going to do it for you guys and I want to show you guys that it's okay. I need to tell myself too, but it's okay that you will have a fall and you don't pass. Because a lot of times people don't pass their first time and that's okay. You just got to get it back up and just do it again. And you just honestly just do it again um, until you're able to get the score you want. And with not even like the LSAT, like if you're like another student, just like getting to your college or just you have an exam you have to take, like just do it again until you're able to get the score you want. And it's just kind of a little bump in your life and you gotta get over that bump so yeah that's like my little word of advice um that's pretty much all i have to say i just wanted to get on here and share it with you guys so thank you for the ones who were here when i was preparing for the august lsat i hope you guys all did well i'm so glad to hear you guys' stories and i love the ones who reached out to me and stuff about being in the same boat as me and it was just very good to connect so i hope you, you guys all did well and if you guys didn't that's okay we are on this journey again together and i know you guys will do great on the next one and i will see you guys later